and welcome to Southern Sports Network. I'm Lindsay Settlemeyer. And I'm Taylor Gillis, here to update you on all the moccasin sports news. The women's soccer team came away from Friday's game against Spring Hill with a one-to-one -one tie after the game went into double overtime. Anna Griesler scored the lone goal for the mocks. Coming off of the tie, the mocks suffered a two-to-one defeat versus West Florida. Once again, the goal came from Anna Grieslinger. The goal was assisted by Shayla Ramos. The next game for the mocks will be tonight at Nova Southeastern. The men's soccer team headed to North Carolina last weekend to play Mars Hill. The mock suffered a 2-1 loss in overtime. The lone goal was scored by Jonathan Radvigin, with the assist coming from Alec Cozio. The moccasins bounced back from their loss against Mars Hill with a dominating 4-1 victory over Coker. This gives the mocks a 2-1 record going into their first conference game tonight against Nova Southeastern. The game will be held at Barnett Field at 7 p.m. The men's golf team competed at the Rod Myers Invitational at Duke University this past weekend. FSC's John Vanderlyn placed 18th individually among 82 players. He was also named the SSC Player of the Week for men's golf after this performance. Out of 14 teams, the Mocs tied for 11th place next to UC Davis. Florida Southern was the only Division II school competing. Over the weekend, the women's golf team competed at the Ross Resorts Invitational at Rollins College. Senior Shannon McHugh placed 22nd individually with the best score for FSC. The Mocs placed 9th out of 11 schools overall. The Moccasins volleyball home opener was this past weekend at the Terrace Hotel Classic. I was able to cover the event for Southern Sports Network. Moccasin Volleyball hosted the annual Terrace Hotel Classic September 9th through the 10th. Five teams, including the Mocs, competed in the tournament. Florida Southern took full advantage of having the hometown crowd and won all three of their games. The first win for the Mocs against Texas Women's University came effortlessly. Florida Southern won each match by nine points or more. The second day of competition proved to be more of a challenge. In both games, they lost their lead for a brief time in the second set. I think we get a little caught up in being safe and like we won the first one, like it's kind of a lull and then we realize like we have nothing to lose, just go out and give it our all. So that's what we did. None of the matchups for the mocks lasted longer than three sets. Anna Tabo had 47 kills on the tournament, contributing to the mocks domination. A really good set from Beth. She's really consistent and um, it helps a lot. And so, yeah, I just try and go up and get the kill for the team. The volleyball team opens up conference play at home next week against St. Leo. I feel really good. Um, it was tough competition this weekend and it really helped us a lot um, for conference play. The match is at 7 p.m. in Jenkins Fieldhouse. Cross Country had their first meet this past Saturday at the Florida Tech Invitational. The women's non-Division I team placed fourth out of the 13 schools with freshman Allison Wright leading the way. She finished 23rd out of 119 runners. The men's team placed first out of the 10 teams with runners Bobby Ormos and Fedes Kemboy and Evan Quinones placing in the top 10. That's all we have for you today. I'm Taylor Gillis. And I'm Lindsay Settlemeyer. This has been Southern Sports Network. See you next week.